Welcome back to Beautiful Desolation. It's time to play the arcade. Uh, before we do that, though, let's go talk with the Knowledge Slave and see if they have anything new to tell us. A lot's happened since the last time we talked with them. Greetings. That was the same as before. Yeah, this looks the same. Oh, there's actually no just exit. I actually have to do something in the conversation. Okay, I remember topic three is forbidden. Topic one. The heading of the topic under review is... Uh, um, I think we just put some tokens inside this thing. Three tokens. Flay token, mongrel token, and hanasi token. Doesn't matter which one we start with. No. Nah. Mm. Oh. These go over here. I guess I put them all in? This place gave me the creeps. Done. Looks like this is more up your alley. So it's like an arcade game. Hmm, looks like it. I know you always love the arcade. Yeah, the one in Hillbrow still has my high scores. Well, not anymore, I suppose. But I don't know, eh? This looks more complicated. There's a lot at stake here. I know. But I also know you can do this. Yeah, but you're right, eh? Let's do this. I'm sure I've still got what it takes. I need to choose at least three combatants, but I won't get to choose again until I defeat him. Select at least three combatants with a maximum of nine. View opponent roster. Springbok, Agnate, Host, the Flay, Giant Scorpion, Hanasi, Priest of Tribulation, Tribulationist. Mm, looks like they have, uh, I guess it's health and shield. Hit points and shield. There are tons of shield on this one. Lots of health on this one. Lots of health in. <laughs> and armor on this one. And very, very little actual health. I have no idea what any of that means. As far as, like, how's it going to affect what I do? What even are their stats? I don't know. Let's just choose ones that have cool looking icons. Parktown Prawn. That's pretty cool. Oh. Actually. Those stats seem terrible. Yeah, let's clear that. Are some just strictly better than the others? Let's just add like all of them. No one can see what their stats are. Okay, Optio Lifter seems amazing. Can I have multiple of the same one? You can't? Okay, there's gotta be something going on here as far as stats. Surely you don't just pick the one with the best stats and then just spam your roster with them? No way. Um... 
I don't know. Let's just like get one from each group, perhaps. We need at least three. We can have up to nine. Surely I'm not supposed to just do all of them. Let's get a really good flay. And... A good Hanasi. Moloko? That's pretty good. I think. And a good mongrel. Prawn wasn't good. Big man. Let's get the big man. <laughs> Actually, those are bad stats. Whatever. Let's get a burner too. Sure. Uh, how do I play now? Oh, am I not allowed to have the same pieces that, like, the same characters that they have? Is that why these are flashing red and why I can't play? I don't think I do have them all, though. I have to select which ones I want out of the ones I've already selected? Uh, so you can add up to nine into your bank here. No, you can add up to 12. There's 12 slots, but it said you can have up to nine. What? I'm so confused. Whatever. Boomalar, your ass is mine. And turn. Mechanical Blixem. Metal Slug Gun Corrosive Cloud. Uh, it's showing these being used up. Is that like AP? Like action points? Uh, oh, there's a legend on the right side for what all those icons of the move mean. So it's accuracy. Cooldown. Damage. Points, which is probably AP. Hmm. Ninety-nine percent accuracy. Very XCOM. <laughs> I don't feel any particular reason to use one over another. This does more damage. It has less accuracy. This one's all right, I guess. Oh, that was just their moves. Oh, so this is the AP that I have for my entire turn, not like per character or anything like that. That's what these red ones are, ones that I can't use because I don't have the AP for it. So I could even have them go again immediately if I wanted to. Coaxial machine gun. Why does that suck so much? Why does that suck so much? It does 1 to 3 damage and has 50% accuracy and takes 1 point. This takes 1 point and does 3 to 6 damage and 70% accuracy. Was that 99% before? Why did it change? I do not understand this game. Pimp Hand Cannon? <laughs> the hell is that? Cleansing fire. This doesn't seem very good, but maybe it's an AoE? It doesn't say one way or the other. This should kill it. Increase defense. I don't think I want to increase defense. I don't think I need to. Pimp hand cannon. If they have 10 defense, is any of this damage going to get through? That seems like a no. Hmm. How is this going to work? How are we going to do anything to them ever? 
And we still have to fight their tribulationist, I think, at the end, I guess. Maybe the moves that seem shittier than... That seems really shitty, maybe they, like, pierce through defense or something? It just it doesn't say anything about that anywhere, so I have no idea. Maybe that's what this does. That took down their defense. So armor... Armor just... Armor's just another hit point, isn't it? They might as well have just put that into the main hit points. I think it's just a separate pool that has to be taken down before the health? Maybe? I, yeah, I think so. Take the rest of my points. This I could do multiple times, but that move kind of sucks. I don't understand what sort of galaxy brain stuff is going on with these moves. This move, Flux Pulse, takes more AP than the Pimpan Cannon, does less damage, and has worse accuracy, and has the same amount of turns until you can reuse it. What is the point of it? the tribulationist. Huh. Oh, it's a separate round, I see. Mm, so whatever you choose, whatever you choose to put in this, like, your pool of potential combatants that you can select is set in stone when you go into the fight. But I'm pretty sure I have room for literally every single combatant that I can, that I have stored in my bank. So like, why not just put all of them here so I can select from all of them? I don't understand the point of this. This is really bizarre. It's interesting, kind of, actually. The Optio Lifter has like really good stats. But their ability to do damage seems to be pretty terrible. Whereas, what was it? Was it the big man? Or the burner? It was one of these. I think it might have been the big man. They, um... Sorry, I was distracted by realizing that I think... I think my characters that I can play as don't get healed. 
I think these still have the damage that they took from the last round. Uh, but yeah, the big man. They have attacks that only take one, like, one action point, and they seem to do really good damage. So there's value there. Yeah, let's go with the same ones. I guess maybe it's not the smartest thing to go with one that has 2-2 two, two stats. Let's go with 2-8. Maybe the burner will be good. Alright. What can the burner do? They can burn! <laughs> Thermal assault versus organometallic burn. Oh wow, this attack kind of sucks. This attack is really good, but it takes all of my AP. How do I get more AP, by the way? There's a lot of moves that take more than I even have at the beginning of a round. Let's try this. Even though stat-wise, I don't think it's very good. Looks pretty cool. Hmm. Eight. Oof. This and then a little shot from the coaxial machine gun. Holy shit. Well. Um, hmm. I think I maybe need to kill them like this round, unless I'm gonna get another bonus round. Seems like they skip one turn and then do a massive attack that they've been building up. Also, my max AP has gone down to two now that there's only two remaining, so does that imply that later in later fights I'll be able to play with more characters at a time? Let's do the pimp hand cannon. That was weird. Um, what now? Do we go like? back here and be like hey I beat somebody yeah I think we have to challenge each one of these until we defeat the biggest one so this is going to take a while who disturbs the priest of who is you you are the souls who buried Umalar in his own mud and dirt Thank you for granting us some quiet from his incessant ramblings. You up next, Cupcake. Prepare for an ass kicking. So full of bravado. From the man standing next to the man who actually did the fighting. Oof, called out. But alas, your paltry victory means little. As we speak, his body is being tended in the undying catacombs of Babel. 
A new body is being knit together by the thousand-fingered hands of the spinster. Soon he will be back with us, no doubt boring us with tales of how he almost died. Again. If you can't really die, why do you have this arena? The arena is built around this throne room. The pool below us teems with our consciousness and memories. We are the five who left Pravel to create the world. Umalar created the mud and dirt below your feet. While I move, move the branches into the trees and comb the grass of the drought. Shaken seeded the world with metal and iron, creating weapons and armor. While Spinnacop wove veins of gold and jewels into the rock. Never bosses, the youngest of us all, she bathed the world in the blood of her womb and gave it life. Right, we were doing all of this for the mask of Nevrogorsis, right? Who wanted that, though? I don't even, I literally don't remember who wanted that. It's possible whoever did has now been destroyed. Like, maybe it was the Cheese and Yama, I don't know. <laughs> I think the Cheese and Yama wanted the coordinates to the tear, the map data. Is that what the others who live here believe? It is truth. That is older than the Dalahan himself. Even Daras declares it so. We are the mouth of Daras, and we declare it as truth. Well, that's convenient. I will see your brother in the arena. You are no longer worthy of my time. This is getting too real, Marky. It's too much for me. I can't keep up like this. Can we take a break for a bit? We need that mask, Don. You have to keep trying. This feels wrong. I felt this way before. There was this guy they were chasing through the bush once. After two days, they called in the choppers to flush him out. You know, with the chopper, you can't cover your tracks fast enough. We chased him into a village. I saw where he went to hide, and I told the guys on foot. They drove a Casper right through the hut. They lined up and opened fire into the rubble. I don't even know what this guy did, but I signed his death warrant as soon as I saw him run. That feeling of following orders, even when you know it's wrong, that's what this feels like. Uh, is what we're doing that serious? I, I don't get why Don thinks this is so serious. I'm sorry, Don. But this is the path ahead of us. We can do this, together. Okay, Mark. I'll do it. You know I'll do anything for you. Oops. Yeah, I don't see any reason not to add literally all of them to my pool. Um, let's choose different people than we had before just to see what their moves are. I don't know, a giant scorpion? Sure. Tok. And crocodile dicer. <laughs> Remember, Moog, you wanted this. Oh, I forgot to check what their roster is, what they have. Yeah, so we only fight three at a time, and they have a bunch more, so this is going to be three rounds, I think? Three now, three for the next one they're going to have, and then the boss. Hmm. Uh, 
Uh, I guess we should go for the one we can take out the quickest. Or should we? Actually, now that I think about it, like, my usual strategy of trying to take out the weakest ones first so that it lowers the opponent's ability to do damage to you while you're spending a lot of time on the, the harder opponents, I don't know if that applies here because they have a finite amount of AP. So whether they have one or three, they have the same amount... Well, actually, no, wait, you take out one, they get less AP. Okay, yeah, go for the weakest first. Living Stroke. Gentle Touch. Can't be that gentle if it does damage. Strike. Explosive Multi-Shaft. Decent, pretty good amount of damage given the AP, but its accuracy is only 50%. Let's try it. Hell yeah. Almost got it. Oh, increased player defense by six? Damn. The wind screams my name. I guess I'll keep going for them. They're still the weakest. Don't you dare increase defense again. <laughs> okay, we're good. Just need to hurt him a tiny bit. Unfortunately, I don't really have any guaranteed hits. Well, not any that use one AP anyway. Um. Yeah, let's do the guaranteed hit. Why didn't they do a move? They must be doing, like, prepping something special. Uh-oh, it's gonna be bad. Wasn't too bad. How many moves can they make this turn? This is has a two out of three chance of killing them. Okay, we get to go again. Yeah, I'm gonna take the guaranteed chance. Well, almost guaranteed, 99%. Gotta get him out of the playing field. It's going to take a while. Do we have enough AP to even do anything with the other character? We do. Just this. Fuck. Oh, this is looking really bad, actually. <sighs> I don't think there's any way I can win this. They have more hit points than me. Unless I score nothing but threes and they miss. 
Oh, right, this is the thing we're using is a 50% chance of hitting. We're gonna miss a lot. Give me another move? Okay. Oh my god, we're dead. Absolutely dead. Rip. Goodbye. Do you not let go again? Give me a lot of chances here, but it's not gonna happen. Wow, you're giving me a lot of chances. It's still not gonna happen. <laughs> Just kill me, please. Yeah, I don't think that means we lost the game, though. It just means they still have another person left for the other rounds. Uh, I guess we should go with the Optio Lifter again. We really can only do three at a time, right? Yeah, how do you... Why are there so many moves that use more than three AP? It's bizarre. Let's use some ones with really good stats, I don't know. See, it says select at least three combatants with a maximum of nine. But I can't select more than three. And also there's 12 slots, so what? Remember, Moog, you wanted us. Pimp hand cannon, very good. Pulse cannon, very good. Almost guaranteed hit, only one AP. Considering that, yeah, damn good. And then the coaxial machine gun, which sucks, and then a bunch of other moves that we can't use. So Pimp Hand Cannon, I think, and then the other one, I forgot the name of already. Pulse Cannon. Six damage, Jesus. So... Does increased defense give us six more defense like it does for the opponent? If it's that significant, it might actually be worth it. A five more? Maybe worth it? I don't know. I guess it just depends on the average damage that the opponent does in a turn. If they do on average more than five, then it's not worth it. I mean, there's five right there. I don't know. Maybe when they get down to only one enemy so they can't make as many turns, then it's useful to just, like, buff your defense to hell, maybe? <laughs> Do you get to keep the uh, buffed defense even after the round? You get another go? Oh, Jesus! All right. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I just realized where I'm going wrong. Duh! I need to do what the enemy's doing. That's why sometimes they just hang around and don't do anything and skip turns. I need to skip turns to build up my AP. Glad I realized it a half hour in and not two hours in. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Aerial laser... Canoon? Canoon? Is it spelled that way on purpose? Aerial laser canoon. They both have the same move. Same accuracy. Yep. Yeah. Does 10 damage. Mm, so it takes three weights to build that up. Is that worth it? Rage attack. Would do on average more damage than the aerial laser cannon. Like, if it did the minimum damage of five. Uh, wait, is that true? No. Mm. No, never mind. This would only be on average, like, better or the same if it was three AP that it took, but it takes four. Uses two thirds of the AP, but does a little bit more than half the damage. So that'd be worth waiting for. Increased defense might be nice, but maybe I should just wait for the aerial laser cannon. Three left. Yeah, between the two of them. This should get him. Mm, okay, so if there's any spillover in their opponents, instead of being groups of three, then it'll just do however many are left that aren't the boss. So we're just fighting one. Which one was it that could increase their defense? Was it you? Because I want to see if I can just spam increased defense. I don't know. Let's just use some random ones here. See what happens. Look at their moves. Remember, Mook, you wanted this. Mm. The prawn can only jaw snap. Well, okay, so the prawn really just straight up sucks. Takes three AP to do three or four damage. Ugh. There's increased defense. You can increase defense as well. Although I guess the fact that you can't use it makes me think they can't increase their defense beyond their normal max. Right, like, I guess this flake, get their armor up to seven and that's it. Slam. Three to five. Three to four. Well, slam's better than that. Laser's super good. Let's just do increased defense. Right, so I might not want to... I don't have to always use my turn. Uh... I don't think there's any need to save up for the aerial laser cannon. It's kind of over the top. Although, I think that is the type of enemy that can increase their defense. The thing about waiting, though, to use your AP is unless your opponents are dead or something like that, there's really no downside to passing your turn. Like, well... That's not entirely true. You do have the, um, the cooldown on attacks. 
Can't just do four pulse cannons at the same time, but... There's not that much of a penalty in just banking your AP. Unless one of your people die. And you don't have access to their moves. Five, six... So... I could spend one. And we'd still have enough for the giant laser. Which was unnecessary, but screw it, I want to try it. I could also increase defense. That would only give me three defense, though. Is that worth it? Nah. Okay, I'm starting to get a bit of a feel for the game. This is making some sense. God is like the, the feedback and the instructions for how to play is terrible though. And this three combatants with a maximum of nine doesn't make any fucking sense. So I get why you'd want asshole, Luke, and you know what I do to assholes. <laughs> what do you do to assholes, Don? Um, it's making sense now why you would want to choose... Uh, like, why there are inferior combatants that you can choose. The reason you want to choose them is if you have enough room in your 12-slot bank, then you might as well put them there because it gives you more pieces to play with, more chances. Even if they suck. Oh, they can increase their defense. Hmm. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, what is their specials? Cleansing Fire. Why does that take... 5 AP? That sucks. Bloodlust is a bit better. It's got a very wide range of damage, but it can be pretty good. 2 to 7 for 4. Or 6 for a guaranteed 10. Guaranteed 10 is a lot better. Let's do a one attack, and then we can do the laser fire next turn. Assuming we don't ex all explode and die, are they going to do a special? No, not yet. Wait, what? Uh, oh, I did a move, but I didn't pass my turn. Eight. Is it, damage wise, is it. Am I doing more damage in the long term by waiting for the aerial laser canoon? Probably not. I don't know. Like the average of this would be two damage each turn because it's from one to three. Average of this would be. Uh, well, you got the 50% accuracy, so it'd be pretty shit. Like, I think I should at least keep using the Pulse Cannon once every turn. Ow. Uh, oh, actually, I should probably increase defense again. Maybe. Not all of that went to their defense because they maxed out. I don't know if that's worth it. Am I healing faster than they're doing damage? It's 10 fucking damage. I don't think so. Power 
for me. All right, this is gonna hurt. Half of us are gonna be dead, I think. Oh Jesus. Oh, we're fucked. Good thing about the health keeping over until the next round is they're gonna stay damaged next time we fight them. Boomstick blunderbuss. Uh, it's not gonna kill him, but. Oh, I feel it. It hurts. What do they have, like two hit points left? It better not have healed. No, they didn't. We're good. Remember, Mook, you wanted us. I wonder if it's possible for me to get a fourth token. I know there is, like, I know other tokens exist, I just wasn't able to get them because of how I completed quests, and I don't think there's anything more I can do with quests to get more tokens. I think I've done, pretty sure I've done every quest out there. I don't know, if I fail, the whole thing doesn't reset or something, does it? Why are you so happy that your brothers have been defeated? Happy? No. Content. Perhaps. The others at Babel have enjoyed watching the defeat of Moog and Dumbar. And I have to admit it, it has been amusing. There are others watching us? Of course. The Arena games have been broadcast to Babel for an age, since before we used Podborn Combatants. Why are you and the other priests not in Babel? Those that hid themselves away in Babel have forgotten why we fought so hard for this world. They fret over the return of the Dalahan. Over the fall of Danis, over old dead languages and prophecies. We enjoy the simpler things in life, reading the blood of those offered in tribute. But I fear that now even fighting the Podborn is tedious. What do you mean, Podborn? In the early days of the arena, before the memory pool allowed us to safely compete, the arena was filled with the cries of slaves. As time went on, those willing to sell combatants to us dwindled. We were forced to improvise. Now, most that fight in the arena are podborn for that purpose. They are created to be destroyed. Those screams sound pretty real to me. Oh, even a simulacrum can feel pain. They have the memories of past lives. They want to live. We do not permit that. Now, let us fight. Is that why Dawn felt so bad about this? I thought... We're... These are actually real people fighting. This isn't just like a computer simulation. Yeah, that changes things. 
simulacrum like this. Still hasn't moved in forever. 